Hey guys, it's Kelly. Today I'm doing a cut crease eyeshadow for beginners. Now I know it may not look like it's for beginners as of now, but that's the point. It's so easy and it looks so good. So give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe for more. And yeah, I'm gonna go with the video. I'm obsessed with this makeup, sorry. First off, if you are a bit new to the cut crease or just dramatic eyeshadow in general, you wanna start off by taking some tape so to make sure you have like a sharp line. What you do, oh hair. What you do is you put it on the lower lash line, like where a wing would be, and bring it up to the tip of your eyebrow. Next up, you want to prime your eyelids to make sure the eyeshadow stays on longer and it just doesn't crease in general. So I'm taking a concealer to prime. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Am I pretty yet? Now for the actual eyeshadow, I'm going to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in the world. Now, for a cut crease, you want to start off by taking a transition color, which is basically, it's a bit darker than your natural skin tone or your foundation shade, but it's still going to go on as translucent. I mean, yeah, translucent. So, I'm going to be taking the shade Bay. Actually, no, I'm going to take the shade sandalwood and sweep it through my crease on a blending brush just to make sure that all the eyeshadow evenly like blends out and it'll just be really easy. Before you get crazy with the colors, you want to start out by making a bold crease. So I'm going into bossy and I'm going to be putting that in my crease and buffing it out. Now you want some more matte shades in the crease. So I'm going to be taking cocoa and defining the outer edge of the line we've made. Finally, for the last color on the crease, I swear I can't talk, I'm taking Man Eater. Going into the shade Henna, I am putting it on my outer V. I want to sweep it through your entire lid because we will be cleaning up with concealer. So I want to add some shimmer just in the beginning. So to make sure I have enough like space and just it's clean and it'll go on the most flawlessly, I will be taking some more concealer and putting a tiny, tiny bit where I'm gonna want the shimmer. That was a lot. Finally, for shimmer, I'm moving on into the shade Fling. And since these are really buttery and really creamy, the shimmers, I'm gonna be taking some of my finger and placing it right where we put the concealer. If you're like me and you add a lot of shimmer, it is likely that you are going to cover up a bit of the outer V. So not to worry, we're just gonna add some more of henna onto the outer V. I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with cocoa. Now peel off the tape. So I'm just gonna pop on some wing liner. If you want a separate wing liner tutorial, let me know. This is a L'Oreal Super Stay Super Slim Liner. Just popped on some lashes. Now finally, for the last touch, I'm gonna to be taking some of Blessed and putting it in my inner corner just to give it that pop. Finally, for the lower lash line, I am taking the Smashbox Photo Op Eyeshadow Trio and this dark brown shade and place it on my lower lash line. So that was it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.